Okay, this week's Inspiration Wednesday is going to be on location from Prague. Here is a view of the Prague Castle from our hotel room. Okay, well let's... So this is my new charcoal pencil. It's got this cool case. Look at that. This lid slides in and out. How cool is that? Ooh. So all I have is watercolors and charcoal. So I have no idea what I'm making, but this should be fun. Bill is sitting over me with an iPhone in his hand. No sudden movements, please. So limited supplies, charcoal and watercolor. Let's see what we get. We're in Prague, on location. It's really cool. Care to tell the blog readers, Bill, about all the fun photos you took yesterday? Yes, we took awesome photos from the Charles Bridge yesterday. He's living out the old fact town that square. they were all of himself. A couple were of myself. Because he figured out that the iPhone fork and take pictures so that you can see yourself while you're taking them. No other comments, huh? No. And there's a Starbucks right down the street from our hotel. We're such Americans. Because we don't have internet at the hotel, so we're limited to the area. I need to get more Quinacrido magenta because I can see the bottom of my palette. Alright, so I'm going to start painting inside of each of the flowers. And ideally, this charcoal pencil will add a little bit of gray tone to what I'm doing and darken up the color. So I'll be back after I take. Um, the time to paint inside of each one of these flowers. And I'll rest my arms. Alright, so I've got my flowers and I did put a couple different layers as it dried so it could look like it has a little bit more texture. So now I'm just going into my green and I think I like to make it a little darker but I'm not sure how. I want a little brown in there. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. Now, this is also going to mix with the uh, um, charcoal get a little gray tint I like that and you can soften the charcoal lines just by getting them wet so if you see here it's gonna soften the line I'm gonna go right over it and I don't care if it's sloppy because I can clean it up because it is watercolor and I'm just kind of wiping the excess off on the tissues. So we're in Prague. And, and what did you do yesterday in Prague? I went to the castle and we went to the Charles Bridge and we went to Old Town and we saw the astrological clock. But our tour guide was not the best because we could barely understand her English. And we had two Russian people, so she spoke half the time in Russian. So, I'll be honest with you, the tour would have been so much better, and I would have learned so much more. So, um, yeah, I don't really know much of anything after the tour of what I saw. How about you? Did you pick up anything, Bill? I heard every other word. Yeah. I think I might have understood the Russian better. So, yeah, we were done. And then we went... Walking around on her own. I bought glasses. I'll show you my glasses in the next segment. I bought, because you know I like to buy glasses in every city. Much to Bill's chagrin. And how many stores did we have to go to? Well, we only went to like three, right? Maybe four. Yeah, maybe maybe six. four. Not six. Eight. No. All right, so now I'm going to do the background. I'm going to keep it simple. And cobalt teal, favorite, favorite color. And I'm just going to start by going around like this and dragging that color and making it progressively lighter 
And because I'm using the water pen, I can kind of mix the color as I'm working here and drag it. Because I don't want it to look like a solid color. Now I'm working on regular cardstock, so it doesn't blend the best ever. If you're using watercolor paper, obviously it'll blend a whole lot better, but it'll do the job for today. So I'm going to continue painting the background, and then um, I'll be back to show you my glasses. What are we writing? No matter what happens with a wet page, no matter what happens, travel gives you a story to tell. To tell. What is today? The sixth. 